assalamu alaikum in this lecture we would introduce uh, the two branches of linguistics called phonetics and phonology in yesterday's lecture we talked about uh, phonetics and phonology briefly but i would briefly again uh, revise these two things and then we would move forward and discuss other concepts that are in uh, in detail that are related to these two branches i told you that now after our midterms we are going to stick to uh, introduction to phonology and then we would moving forward to introduction to morphology okay so let's begin and then we would move forward okay so we were talking about different level of analysis in linguistics so there is a language that consists of all these things sounds morphemes uh, phonemes words and meanings and representations okay so the first level of analysis in linguistics is concerned with sounds so we would begin our session with the phonological analysis in which we would analyze different sounds okay so what is phonology phonology is the study of systems and patterns of speech sounds in language languages so here from the definition you can see that phonology can, uh, is the study which discusses the patterns in speech sounds okay it is concerned with abstract and mental aspect not the articulation of speech sounds here is a term articulation articulation i told you means how we produce language okay how what is the process of articulation means what is the process through which i am producing or making sounds from my mouth okay so phonology is not concerned with that it is phonetics which is concerned with the articulation of speech sounds phonology is rather con uh, concerned with the mental and physical aspect of a language and it discusses the patterns of speech sounds all right it uh, it allows us to distinguish meaning in the actual uh, physical sounds as we hear okay so it tells us about the patterns and then uh, patterns of the sounds that we produce and then we hear okay phonetics now phonetics is another branch of linguistics which studies the characteristic of speech sounds now once those sound patterns are produced what are the characteristics of those sounds what is the quality of each individual sound okay so there are different sounds like s like b these are different sounds in different languages so what is the what are certain characteristics of each individual sound what are characteristics of s what are characteristics of b what are characteristics of p okay so these are different sounds that we would be discussing in phonetics so in when we are talking about phonetics in detail we would talk about the characteristics of uh, all these sounds in very detail so phonetics is the branch of linguistics which concerns or which is uh, which deals with these characteristics of a speech sounds since in english in some other languages there is a considerable discrepancy between spelling and sound i highlighted this point and told you that in english language we have 26 alphabets okay but we have more sounds like i told you earlier in our lectures that in english we have 44 sounds okay so but we have 26 letters to, to represent those 20 44 sounds all right so there is a discrepancy that means uh, jitna number hamara uh, spellings yani ki letters ka hai usse zyada hamare paas sounds hai so this is why we have certain number of uh, combination of letters jinko hum log combine karke different sounds banate hain for example maine ch ka example diya tha ya ch ka example diya tha there is no letter in english alphabet for sound ch or ch so we write c h or sh to make these sounds okay so there are not all the spellings talk about the sounds not all the sounds talk about spellings so in phonetics we uh, we deal or uh, study different sounds and how they make different sounds and then we talk about phonetic transcription of each and every word okay so this is also uh, we discussed in yesterday's lecture that this is ipa international phonetic association IPA is a uh, recognized phonetic association which gives us different phonemes and it defines different phonemes and this is uh, the association which uh, determines the rules of phonetics okay so according to IPA uh, whenever we are writing phonetic transcription now phonetic transcription matlab ab yahan pe ye jo first line hai isme jo hamare words hain these are written in alphabets okay h e r e these four are alphabets and they combine to form this word okay but here h i e y e up, upside down e okay so these are two uh, phonemes or this is one phoneme rather uh, which um, 
which is written so it is the same word here is written in this way in phonetic transcription similarly kate okay so this is the phonetic transcription don't get scared of these sounds or uh, these uh, graphemes that we are seeing here we would be discussing all these in detail when we would be doing consonants and alphabets so then you would realize what is meaning of each and every uh, single phoneme the way we learned alphabet in our childhood right a b c now we remember all those alphabets similarly we have to master these phonetic transcriptions only then when you open a dictionary you would be able to Uh, see and see the exact pronunciation of all the words okay for when we were talking about discrepancy for example here is the word b o o k we don't know how to pronounce this okay for example this is a new word to us we might read this uh, read it as book okay because the, there are two o's but the pronunciation is book and how we how do we know that the pronunciation is book because we see the phonetic transcription here okay so the, this transcription would be available in dictionary and it would help us see the transcription or see the pronunciation of this word or for example any new word and then we can realize that this word is pronounced this way okay i hope it is now clear okay moving forward we see there are there are three stages in a speech chain uh, we talked about them briefly uh, you just need to see that uh, the first stage in speech production or speech chain is how a message is produced for example right now i am creating a message okay whatever i am speaking is my message to you so when i am producing a message my vocal cords my throat my mouth they are all involved and they are producing a message for you okay and then there this this message is being transferred to you through this online communication method called zoom so this method transmits uh, the message towards you so the second stage in speech uh, chain is transmission of message then the third step is reception of that message now how you receive that message would be incorporated in the third stage so whenever there is communication there are three steps involved number 1 production of a message एक मैसेज किस तरह से प्रोड्यूस होता है देन ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ द मैसेज हाउ वी ट्रांसमिट दैट मैसेज वो मेरी से आप लोगों तक वो मैसेज कैसे पहुंचता है एंड देन थर्ड इज रिसेप्शन ऑफ द मैसेज दैट मींस हाउ यू रिसीव एंड परसीव दैट मैसेज okay now according to these three um, stages of speech chain there are three branches of phonetics okay number one is articulatory that discusses how different sounds are produced then we have auditory phonetics that discusses um how we hear and receive those uh, and perceive and receive those sounds okay by our ear that is called auditory okay articulatory auditory then we have acoustic phonetics that acoustic phonetics talks about physical characteristics of each sound okay so uh, each sound is different from the other what are certain qualities of each sound that would be determined in acoustic uh, phonetics for we have different consonants let's say consonants are easier to understand so let's say uh, we have this uh, letter l okay which is sound uh, with the sound of l is l okay and then we have uh, here okay for example let's say s okay so this is a second sound that would be s okay so s is different from l these two are two different sounds so what are the qualities of these two sounds what are the characteristics of l how l is produced and how s is produced okay so acoustic phonetics will deal with, is the branch of phonetics which will deal with the physical characteristics of different speech sounds all right in phonetics we have the basic smallest unit that we would discuss is phoneme the way we have alphabet the the smallest unit in alphabet or in language that we apparently see is l uh, is alphabet okay so whenever in phonetics when we are studying phonetics the smallest unit okay the smallest structure that we would come across is called a phoneme phoneme is the basic sound unit okay so this is the smallest meaning distinguishing sound unit in the abstract representation of sounds in a, of a language okay here we say meaning distinguishing because uh, it it is not uh, does not mean literally the meaning matlab ki uska koi matlab hai it means ki each and every phoneme is separate and different from 
in the other phoneme okay so in that terms each phoneme is different from other phoneme and that is why phoneme is called the smallest unit of um, phonetics okay then we have um, slash marks are conventionally used to indicate a phoneme okay so for example here it's the so we when we would be learning about phonemes we would see ke kuch jo phonemes honge wo unhi alphabets ke sath recognize honge jaise hum log alphabet mein ke sath padhte for example t t is alphabet as well as this is t is also sound and also phoneme okay but there would be certain other structures that would be there for different sounds jinke liye hamare paas alphabetic letter nahi hoga wahan pe koi aur symbol use hoga okay so here t is phoneme and it is used inside these slash marks okay so whenever we are using phonemes or we have to indicate that it is a phoneme not a letter in that case we would use uh, these uh, slash marks and put the phoneme inside it okay since sounds cannot be written we use letters to represent or stand for the sound so letters or other symbols would be used to write the different sounds but we would be more it would be more accurate to discuss about those sounds by their pronunciation and how those sounds are produced okay a grapheme is the written representation of a sound now this representation that is written uh, of a sound the sound how it is realized realized means how it is produced how different phoneme is realized how different phoneme is produced okay that is a other story but how we represent it uh, represent it it that would be called a grapheme okay like a letter like an alphabet uh, we see that a grapheme is a basic structure that is used to symbolize this uh, sound okay so we discussed that we have 44 sounds uh, in english and 26 letters in english out of those 44 sounds we have 20 vowels and 24 consonant sounds okay now we will discuss in detail all the consonant sounds and all the 20 vowel sounds in alphabet out of 26 we have five vowel sounds a e i o u but there are more than five vowel sounds okay when we when i ask you how many vowel letters are there you would say five but when i'm asking how many vowel sounds okay vowel sounds then you would tell me that there are 20 vowel sounds all right uh, this is a basic some basic terminology that we need to discuss before we move uh, further on okay so what is the definition of consonant what is vowel what is segment these would help us understand uh, the sounds a little bit better to hum log pehle definitions ko discuss kar lete hain ki consonant hai kya aur vowel sound hai kya okay so first let's see what is a segment a segment is an individual speech sound uh, in a language okay so jo individually basic speech sound hoga that would be called a segment all the speech sounds are classified into consonants and vowels in short we can say both the consonant and vowel both are segments okay but there is a difference between consonant and a, and some vowels right but both of them in the individual speech sounds and they are called segment okay now what is consonant and what is vowel what is the difference between consonant and a vowel these are very basic terms uh, which we have been learning from probably very basic childhood that these are a e i o u or are vowels and rest of alphabet are consonants but what is the difference between these sounds okay consonants are the sounds which are uh, in the sounds in the production of which there is an obstruction of air at some point in the vocal cord okay vocal tract so uh, we will be talking about what is vocal tract vocal tract is basically from throat to our mouth uh, the all through the whole tract jahan pe hamara speech yahan se produce hoti hai theek hai to ye different organs hamare mouth ke involved honge speech production and that is whole is called vocal tract now jahan pe bhi air obstruction hogi yani ki hamare lungs se jo hawa aa rahi hai wahan jahan pe bhi usko obstruction yani ki there is little stoppage yahan pe usko kisi kisam ki rukawat hogi agar usko kahin pe bhi theek hai so that would be called a consonant when we would discuss all the consonants in detail you would see different consonants 
face obstruction of air at different places in her mouth okay some sounds would uh, feel obstruction at the lips some sounds would uh, feel the obstruction of air at um, uh, different uh, parts of our uh, mouth okay so we would be discussing different parts of our mouth uh, then we would have a fair idea how consonants are produced but this is the basic difference between consonant and a vowel that consonants uh, face little obstruction of air okay however when vowels are produced there is no any obstruction or no articulators come very close together and air stream okay from la from our lungs is very very easily passed from our lungs throughout okay all right uh, let me just move for this now you can see these are basically 44 phonemes that we have been talking about okay now we will now we would see that uh, c may hamari alphabet bhi aajegi 26 uh, letters jo hamare but these are ip referred 44 sounds okay i hope you can uh, see this otherwise i'll show you i don't know how to remove it okay i can just move it a little bit here okay now you can see that these are our vowels 20 vowel sounds okay and the remaining 24 are, are consonant sounds okay so this is b this is the same b in our english alphabet the same sound is there bad and lab okay the end sound of lab and the first sound of bed okay similarly there's the sound f sound g sound h sound now this j that we write in english alphabet is j but in phonetics, this is a sound that is used for year. Okay. So this means yes, yellow. Okay. So this is not a J here. Okay. This is a J basically. G. I'm sorry. This is again G, flag and give. As I told you earlier, we have different sound for J. Okay. Let me see where is... Uh, this is uh, this is just uh, and probably mm -hmm. let me move forward okay this last one let me show you this is uh, this is represented by a d and a z spelling and this is giving us a sound of j just and large okay don't worry, this is not all we are learning. This is just to introduce you and familiarize you with this concept. And um, we would be later on doing all these sounds in detail and then you would have to remember what each sound means. Okay, but just to, to have a fair idea and be clear that, that there are different sounds, okay, different phonemes that represent different sounds. So this is G, this is H, this is Y, okay, as a sound in yes or in yellow okay then we have this k sound for cat and back for both sir and ck both wherever there is a sound of k we would use this okay then we have uh, for if the c is representing a sir sound anywhere okay for example there could be lots of word where it is pronounced at sir so there we would use this uh, phoneme sa okay the, as the sound in sun or in miss okay then this is la ma na this is na sound na okay so like sing it is not g we do not say it sing okay we say it sing as na sound as in sindhi we write uh, sing okay Sindhi mein jis tarah se sound hota hai na ng. Okay. So wo wala sound yaan pe aega sing. Okay. And then we have pa, ra, sa. Now this is the representing sh. Okay. Then we have ta. Then this is ch. Okay. Then these two um, show us. These are two different sounds. Okay. This is not th. This is th. Okay. Your tongue should, um, should be between your teeth. 
okay do not worry about these things if you cannot get them now we would do them in detail okay this is just to give you an overview and now these all are our vowel sounds okay these might be little new and little bit complicated so we would be doing them in detail so don't worry about that just see that these are 44 sounds or phonemes that we would be studying in detail all right moving forward okay so again this is the same representation each sound this is what i was showing you it was j in, as in june okay this is ch as in cheese and these are vowel sounds okay and again in vowels we have uh, these these monosongs 12 and these eight diphthongs okay monosongs means there is one single sound in word mono okay and diphthongs means there are two sounds or interchange of sound okay but like is here okay so there is a tilt and there are two sounds don't worry we would uh, do them in the next lecture when we were talking about vowels and uh, monotongs and different consonants in detail then you have to remember and see all these words this is just to show you this one that there are 44 alph phonemes here is an again a different chart which represents uh, 44 phonemes okay you can uh, you can see these okay I hope uh, this is visible to you. You can take a screenshot from this video or you can pause the video and see all these in detail or you can also find these tables on internet very available. But the thing is there are uh, different tables available for different languages and sounds. So these tables might be confusing. Okay. But so we need to remember that when we're talking about English, we're talking about uh, in standard royal English okay and in which we have 44 sounds and these are the sounds for standardized by ipa for english rp okay received pronunciation rp means received pronunciation that means that we receive from uh, royal family and uh, central uh, uk and london okay so that is what our speech would be like i hope it is clear and i'm not moving so forward uh, you can slow the speed of this video or you can pause or uh, the benefits of this video is that you can anytime go back and see what I'm saying. Okay. I'm trying to be as slow as I can be. I hope this helps you. If you do not understand anything, uh, you can just go back the video, listen to me again, and then it, it would be clearer. Otherwise, note down all the questions you have. And then tomorrow in our... Uh, live session when we will be discussing your queries i'll be answering all your questions just don't be scared okay okay these are these all might be new for you but uh, eventually we will be learning all these uh, the way we learned alphabet okay and then we would be able to pronounce each word appropriately ठीक है अब हर साउंड की हमें नई प्रोनंसिएशन अपने तरीके से और सीखनी पड़ेगी एंड देन वी वुड बी एबल टू प्रोनाउंस देम बेटर ओके मूविंग फॉरवर्ड हाउ टू डिस्टिंग्विश बिटवीन टू फनीम्स ओके हाउ कैन वी डिस्टिंग्विश टू फनीम्स व्हेन वी सब्स्टिट्यूट वन साउंड फॉर एन अदर इन अ वर्ड देयर इज अ चेंज ऑफ मीनिंग for example, these are two words, sing and ring. Okay, agar mein S ki jaga pe yaha pe R laga to, to meaning change ho jayegi. Okay, so if I'm replacing S with R, so yaha pe meaning hi change ho jayegi. Sing is a different word, its ki meaning bhi different hai, ring ki meaning bhi different hai. ठीक है, so in any place, अगर हम लोग एक letter को, एक phoneme को निकाल के, कोई दूसरा phoneme वहाँ पे add कर दें और meaning की change हो जाए okay in that case um, we can say that uh, there is a dif uh, different phoneme is used there all right so this is um, this is a way to distinguish between two phonemes all right uh, that if one is rep re uh, re uh, replaced by an other contrastively so the meaning change okay similarly we have another example fate and wait okay so these are two words Fate ki meaning different hoti hai. Fate ki meaning different. Fate matlab uh, 
ओके मोटा और वेट मतलब एक वेसल ओके और कोई पाइप की तरह से कोई खाली चीज ठीक है तो इन दोनों की मीनिंग डिफरेंट हो जाती है अगर हम फ की जगह पे व लगा देते हैं ठीक है सो सिमिलरली दिस इज द असेंशियल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ नेम दैट दे फंक्शन कंट्रास्टिवली कंट्रास्टिवली मतलब अगर एक ही जगह पे हम दूसरे को लगा दें तो दे कंट्रास्ट इन दी चेंज द मीनिंग तो दिस इज अ प्रॉपर्टी मेन प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ फनेम्स एंड दिस इज हाउ वी डिस्टिंग्विश बिटवीन टू फनेम्स ऑल राइट द कंट्रास्टिव प्रॉपर्टी इज द बेसिक ऑपरेशनल टेस्ट फॉर डिटरमाइनिंग टू फनेम्स दैट एग्जिस्ट इन अ लैंग्वेज ओके सो दिस इज द टेस्ट थ्रू व्हिच वी कैन डिस्टिंग्विश बिटवीन टू फनेम्स ऑल राइट नाउ व्हाट आर मिनिमल पेयर्स एंड सेट्स I hope this is not too much for you. Uh, just these are definitions. Uh, I'm just covering these because uh, we don't have much time. Uh, very few lectures are remaining, and I'll just be introducing you with these terms. So just try to have a clear idea of what terms these are. And in tomorrow's lecture, we would be discussing in detail about these things or your queries. Okay. So basically, this is the only terminology. मतलब हम लोग सिर्फ basic definitions कर रहे हैं. उसके बाद we would move forward to sounds. Okay. So now we are talking about minimal pairs and minimal sets. Minimal pair is the one where there is a distinction only of word or minimal sound. Okay. Um, it would be easy to understand. अगर हम लोग यहाँ पे, for example, ये देखें. ठीक है मतलब यहाँ पे बाकी सारे साउंड सेम है आई जी सारे वर्ड्स में आई जी आ रहे ठीक है आई जी आई जी आई जी लेकिन पहला साउंड सिर्फ डिफरेंट हो रहा है ब प र फ ड और ये डब्ल्यू ठीक है सो ये हर में अगर एक जो है साउंड चेंज हो रहा है तो सबकी मीनिंग चेंज हो रही है बिग पिग रिग फिग डिग विग ठीक है तो ये हमारे हो गए कॉन्सोनेंट फनीम्स कॉन्सोनेंट फनीम्स के मिनिमल पेयर्स ओके बिकॉज एक कॉन्सोनेंट चेंज हो रहा है सबकी मीनिंग चेंज हो रही है ओके तो जब यहाँ पे एक मिनिमल साउंड सिर्फ डिफरेंट होगा और बाकी सारे साउंड हमारे सिमिलर होंगे ठीक है जैसे आई जी सब में सेम है ठीक है सिर्फ एक साउंड डिफरेंट हो रहा है तो दीज वुड बी आर कॉन्सोनेंट फनीम्स इस तरह से हमारे वॉवल फनीम्स होंगे अब इसमें हम लोग देखते हैं कि पहला साउंड है फ और आखिरी साउंड है ट सब वर्ड्स में इसी तरह से फ ट ठीक है अब यहाँ पे सेकंड लास्ट आ रहा है लेकिन लास्ट वाली ई की जो है वो साउंड में नहीं आएगा वेन हम लोग इसकी फोनेटिक ट्रांसक्रिप्शन कर रहे हैं तो ये होगा फेट तो यहाँ पे पहले फ से शुरू होता है ट से खत्म होता है ये साउंड ठीक है जब फेट के बात है यहाँ पे बीच में ज्यादा लेटर्स है लेकिन यहाँ पे सिर्फ एक ही ट्रुपथांग डुपथांग आएगा और पहला और आखिरी साउंड सेम होगा फॉर्ट फर्स्ट शुरू होके ट पे खत्म बाकी बीच वाले सब में वॉवल साउंड चेंज हो रहे हैं फीट ओके फिट फेट फेट फॉट फुट ओके तो वी सी के सब में वॉवल साउंड डिफरेंट है ठीक है तो यहाँ पे हमारे ये हो गए वॉवल्स के मिनिमल पेयर्स मिनिमल पेयर्स मीन्स बाकी सारे साउंड हमारे सेम हो सिर्फ एक साउंड हमारा डिफरेंट हो तो उन वर्ड्स को हम लोग कहेंगे मिनिमल पेयर्स ठीक है तो हमारे वॉवल मिनिमम पेयर्स हो सकते हैं वॉवल फनीम से के और कॉन्स्टेंट फनीम से ओके आई होप इट इज क्लियर ओके बिफोर वी मूव ऑन टू द अदर एक्सरसाइज आई वांट यू टू थिंक ऑफ सम अदर मिनिमल पेयर्स यू कैन थिंक ऑफ सम वॉवल मिनिमम मिनिमल पेयर्स यू कैन आल्सो थिंक ऑफ सम कॉन्स्टेंट मिनिमल पेयर्स Okay, maybe not the words like these much for five six. Maybe you can come across with uh, two three words. Maybe for example, um, we have uh, two sounds like bat, b a t, and other is b e t. Okay, so a word if vowel which we change हो रहा है, बाकी same है, इस तरह से. ठीक है, you can think of other words. Maybe you can pause this video and write on the paper uh, how many words you come across. You have to show me these uh, minimal pairs in tomorrow's lecture. I will be asking you. This is the way I will check that uh, whether you listen to this video or not, because I'll be asking you all the questions from this video. I'll not only address your questions, but I'll also ask you questions from this video 
ताकि मुझे पता लगे कि आप लोगों ने पढ़ा है या नहीं पढ़ा ये वीडियो देखी है या नहीं देखी ओके यू कैन पॉज दिस वीडियो एंड डेवलप दो राइट Moving forward, uh, this is another exercise I've developed for you. इसमें आप लोगों ने बताना है कि ये जो भी following words हैं, how many speech sounds? Speech sound हम लोगों ने जैसे segment की बात की थी पहले, ठीक है? कितने speech sounds हैं following words में? For example, cat है, ठीक है? क, अ, च, ओके यहाँ पे तीन हमारे sounds आते हैं speech sounds, ठीक है? जैसे book है, यहाँ पे letters तुम्हारे चार हैं, b, o, o, k. लेकिन हमारे फनीम या साउंड्स कितने आ रहे हैं ब क ठीक है बीच में एक ओवल साउंड आ रहा है सिमिलरली रेटल अब इसमें तो हमारे सिक्स लेटर्स हैं लेकिन साउंड्स हमारे कितने आ रहे हैं र एक वॉवल साउंड है फिर ट ल और ई वॉवल साउंड ठीक है ये ई का वॉवल साउंड नहीं आ रहा यहाँ पे तो ये रेटल ठीक है आर वॉवल ट ल ठीक है इस तरह से आप लोगों ने अंदाजा लगाना है कि इन सब वर्ड्स में कितने हमारे स्पीच साउंड्स हैं। यू कैन पॉज दिस वीडियो एंड देन राइट डाउन फॉर ईच फॉर ईच वर्ड क्या इसमें कितने स्पीच साउंड्स हैं। यू हैव टू शो मी ऑल दिस इन टुमारोस लेक्चर एस वेल। ओके पॉज दिस वीडियो एंड डू इट। वील बी मूविंग फॉरवर्ड नाउ। ओके now we will be talking about phonemes and allophones. ठीक है हम लोगों ने पहले बात की कि phonemes क्या हैं हम सबको पता चल गया अब तक अब तक हम बार बार phonemes words use करते आ रहे हैं तो मतलब phoneme is the basic sound unit. अब हम लोग बात करेंगे कि allophones क्या होते हैं ठीक है and then we will see कि इन दोनों में difference क्या है. Substituting one phoneme for another will result in a word with a different meaning, but substituting an Allophone only results in a different pronunciation of same word. Okay, this might sound complicated, but let me put it very simply. Some people might sound make uh, you know little bit stressed words, and some people would use um, different uh, would use. लेकिन इसलिए लेस स्ट्रेस्ड वर्ड्स, ओके, फॉर एग्जांपल, अब यहाँ पे एग्जांपल दिया हुआ है जैसे पेन, ठीक है स्पेन, अब ये दो डिफरेंट वर्ड्स हैं, लेकिन लास्ट वाला जो पार्ट है, वो सेम है, ठीक है, यहाँ पे भी पर साउंड है, और यहाँ पे भी पर साउंड है, ठीक है, लेकिन इन दोनों में जो ठीक है जो प्रोडक्शन है वहाँ उस जगह पे वो किस तरह से प्रोड्यूस हो रहा है डेट इस डिफरेंट इन बोथ दिस केसेस सो वी सी पिन में वी से पिन ओके सो दिस इस वहाँ पे थोड़ा सा हर का साउंड आ रहा है हम लोग इस हर वाले साउंड को डिस्कस करेंगे बाद में जहाँ पे आएगा कि हर साउंड हम क्यों प्रोड्यूस करते हैं कहाँ तो आपको पता लगेगा जब आप पिन लास्ट वाले प्रोनाउंस कर रहे हैं तो पहले वाले में थोड़ी सी हवा आ रही है पर के बाद ठीक है लेकिन इसमें नहीं आ रही तो यहाँ पे बिन दोनों में डिफरेंस ये है अगर आप इसकी जगह पे कोई और फनील लगा देंगे ठीक है तो इस वर्ड की मीनिंग चेंज हो जाएगी लेकिन अगर आप यहाँ पे प की जगह पे फ वाला साउंड लगा दें ठीक है तो वहां पे जो है मीनिंग चेंज नहीं होगी सिर्फ प्रोनाउंसिएशन चेंज होगी तो एक ऐसी जगह पे जहाँ पे मीनिंग नहीं चेंज हो रही उसको उन उनको वर्ड उन साउंड्स को हम लोग कहते हैं एलोफोन्स ठीक है These would be two realizations different realizations of same phoneme ठीक है तो इनको हम लोग कहेंगे एलोफोन्स This is another example Think of the letter T and what kind of sound it makes in the word tar Okay, as compared to word stuff. Now, stuff may be same sound as t. Tar may be same sound as t. But in both, this is differently pronounced. So, here we have a slight variation. One is the same eponym. We call them allophones. That means the word is same, but there is a different realization. So, there is a little difference. We call them allophones. That means different realizations of same phoneme. तो उसको हम लोग कह देंगे एलोफोन्स 
ठीक है इट्स प्रोनाउंस विद अ मोर फोर्सफुल क्लिप्ड साउंड वो एक अलग क्लिप्ड साउंड आता है यहाँ पे टार ठीक है लेकिन स्टाफ तो वो स के साथ थोड़ा सा मर्ज हो जाता है तो वो थोड़ा सा डिफरेंट साउंड होता है थोड़ा सा लाइटर स्ट्रेस होता है स्टाफ ओके तो इन दोनों जगह पे साउंड एक ही होगा ट लेकिन उन दोनों की रियलाइजेशन डिफरेंट होगी दोनों जगह पे तो उनको हम लोग कहते हैं एलोफो तो आप लोगों ने ये सारे टर्म्स याद रखने हैं फनीम क्या होता है मिनिमल पेयर्स क्या होते हैं एलोफोन्स क्या होते हैं फोनेटिक्स और फोनोलॉजी में डिफरेंस क्या है और उन दोनों डिफरेंट स्टेजेस ऑफ स्पीच प्रोडक्शन क्या है डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फोनेटिक्स क्या है और सारे ठीक है एस्पिरेशन हम लोग अभी कर लेते हैं यहाँ तक सेलेबल तो हम लोग फिर बाद में कर लेंगे ठीक है आज के मेरा ख्याल है फिर आप लोगों के लिए बहुत ज्यादा हो जाएगा एस्पिरेशन फनीम और एलोफोन से रिलेटेड ही है इसलिए हम इसको आज अभी कर लेते हैं ठीक है ओके सम इंग्लिश साउंड्स आर एस्पिरेटेड इन सर्टेन एनवायरनमेंट एस्पिरेशन का मतलब ये होता है कि कुछ साउंड हम लोग ऐसे प्रोड्यूस करते हैं जिनके बाद थोड़ी सी हवा ज्यादा आती है ठीक है ये आपको ऐसे रियलाइज होगा फॉर एग्जाम्पल यहाँ पे जिसने डिटेल में मैंने ये लिखा हुआ है अगर आप अपने मुंह के हाथ के सामने फॉर एग्जाम्पल कोई कैंडी कैंडल यानी कि मोमबत्ती या कोई थोड़े से छोटे छोटे पेपर के टुकड़े अगर अपने हाथ पे रखें फिर वो हाथ आप अपने मुंह के सामने रखेंगे ठीक है तो वहां पे कुछ वर्ड्स ऐसे होंगे जिनसे वो कैंडल जो है थोड़ी सी फ्लिकर करेगी उसमें थोड़ी सी मूवमेंट आएगी ठीक है जो बत्ती होगी लाइट मोमबत्ती की वो थोड़ी सी फ्लिकर करेगी मूवमेंट आएगी उसमें सही है और यहाँ तो अगर आपने पेपर्स रखे हुए अपने हाथ पे छोटे 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 पीसेस में तो वो जो हैं वो उड़ जाएंगे ठीक है थोड़े ऊपर होके फिर गिरेंगे यानी कि वहां पे थोड़ी हवा आएगी सही है और कुछ साउंड्स आप ऐसे प्रोड्यूस करेंगे फिर उसके आगे आपने कैंडल रखी हुई है या छोटे छोटे पेपर्स रखे हुए उससे उससे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा ठीक है तो दिस इज कॉल्ड एस्पिरेशन एस्पिरेशन का मतलब होता है ठीक है सर्टन साउंड आर फॉलोड बाय शॉर्ट पफ ऑफ एयर थोड़ा सा हवा थोड़ी सी हवा उनके उसके उन साउंड्स के प्रोडक्शन में आएगी एंड समटाइम्स नॉट ठीक है और कभी वो आप सेम फनीम्स आप यूज कर रहे हैं लेकिन वो नहीं आएगी अब वो ये इस डिफरेंस क्या होता है कि कुछ इन्वायरमेंट uh, जैसा होता है ठीक है इन्वायरमेंट का मतलब तो है कि किस कॉन्टेक्स्ट में वो फनीम यूज हुआ है इनकी उससे पहले कौन सा लेटर है उसके बाद कौन सा लेटर है उससे उस पर डिटरमाइन करता है कि कहाँ पे वो हवा आएगी प्रोडक्शन में और कहाँ पे नहीं आएगी सही है ठीक है सो यू कैन ट्राई दिस आउट ओके हेयर आई हैव गिवन यू सम एग्जांपल ठीक है जैसे अब ये साउंड्स हैं अब इनमें साउंड सेम ही है पिल और इसमें भी लास्ट वाला पिल है ठीक है लेकिन अब जहां पे आप सिर्फ कह रहे हैं एस पहले नहीं आ रहा तो आप जब ये वर्ड प्रोनाउंस करेंगे और आपने आगे मोमबत्ती रखी हुई है तो यू वुड सी के आप उसमें कैंडल में फ्लिकरिंग आएगी ठीक है फॉर एग्जाम्पल आप सिर्फ अपने हाथ की उंगली लगा दें तो आपको पता लग जाएगा कि देर इज अ साउंड तो आप कहेंगे पिल तो वहां पे थोड़ी सी हवा एक्स्ट्रा आएगी ठीक है सो देर वुड बी अ शॉर्ट पफ ऑफ एयर लेकिन वेन यू वुड से लेकिन वेन यू वुड से स्पेल तो वहां पे ऐसी कोई भी चीज आपको नहीं फील होगी ठीक है तो एस्पिरेशन को हम लोग जो है सिम्बलाइज इस तरह से करते हैं प्रीवियस इसमें जो मैंने यहाँ पे एच दिया हुआ है यहाँ इस तरह से आपने नहीं लिखना आपने जो एच है ये प के ऊपर लिखना है ठीक है जैसे यहाँ पे लिखा हुआ है ठीक है इस तरह से टिल में भी सेम है किल में भी सेम है तो दीज वुड बी द प्लेसेस वेर यू वुड बी इट वुड बी एस्पिरेटेड एंड दीज वुड बी द एनवायरमेंट वेर इट वुड नॉट बी एस्पिरेटेड ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट एस्पिरेशन uh this is it for today's lecture in next lecture we would move forward and discuss about syllable and other things in more detail if you have any queries mark them down on a paper and then we would uh, discuss all those queries in your lecture take care